right, guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. Thank you again for your company. And um, here we have our next guest. Her name is Sonny Kamau, and she's a skincare specialist and also the owner of Sonny Touch Wellness Center. Kari Busana to the show. Thank you, Joyce. We want to talk about our skin. You know, it's actually the largest organ on our bodies, yes. right? Because from your head to your toes. Um, and it's also then the first defense against the elements. Your skin does so much for you, but it's actually one of those things that we take the least amount of care of and we take it for granted most of the time we expose it to very harsh chemicals you know um, uh, water heat as we're taking care of our homes and of our families and so that's what we want to discuss today on the show how can we best take care of our skin but specifically looking at skin types and skin conditions and so Sonny Karibusana to the show. I sent you Joyce. All right so right off the bat then uh, talk to us about the different types of skin Okay. that we have there's different skin types yes mm -hmm. so we have uh, five different skin types we have oily skin we have normal skin we have dry skin we have sensitive skin and we have combination okay. could be combination to oily sensitive dry yes all right yeah how does one identify their skin type it's actually pretty easy to identify your skin type um, you go to the shower with a mild soap, a gentle soap that can be used uh, by a baby. Okay. Yes, I advise uh, uh, to use that because it doesn't have fragrances. Because mm -hmm. nowadays, you know, everything it's yeah. it's it's too much. Mm -hmm. So you just want to clean off uh, the dirt on your body, and then you can wait for about like an hour, mm -hmm. uh, so that then it's a test. So you'll be able to know your skin type. So you don't moisturize after the shower? No, 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 no. First, you just, now these are tests you need yeah. to identify your skin type yeah. while you're at home, at yeah. the comfort of your house, yeah? Right. Yes. So, so you'll, you'll do the shower with a mild soap, mm -hmm. then you don't put lotion for the test? No, you don't put anything because uh, now you want to really, really identify your skin type. So you give yourself a uh, one hour duration. In between, you can maybe decide to just keep yourself busy, maybe watch a movie or something, yeah? Okay. Yes, and after one hour, if your face feels normal, it's not oily, it's it's just okay, you definitely have a skin type, a normal skin type. Okay. If it's oily, oily skin people don't struggle to know their skin types. Right. It's actually pretty much easy because whether you apply anything or not, you just your feel Your body just too, produces the oil. Yeah, it's just too oily. Okay. Yes. Explain combination. Uh, combination skin around your T-zone, this part over here, this is the T-zone. Mm -hmm. Yes, so this part is oily and then the rest of these parts are uh, be dry okay. or normal. So that would s signify you have combination yes. skin. But as you said, the combination skin could, you could be dry with sensitive skin. Yes. Or normal with sensitive yes. skin. You could then be counted as... As long as this part is oily and maybe the rest of this part may be feeling dry, Yes. All right. All right. Um, so how does one, what, what influences those skin types? Is it something that we're doing? Is it genetics? Is it what we eat? That one skin type is more oily, one's is more dry, another's is more combination. What are the factors behind one skin type? A skin type is what you're born with. Yeah. Now a skin condition is something else different. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's why it's always advisable before you use any product on your skin, first identify your skin type. Okay. Yeah. So it's so what skin you're, type born, you're with. born with. Yes. But then their skin conditions. And then their skin conditions. And most of the times that's why you, f you find people like they don't really know how to differentiate between mm -hmm. a skin type and a skin condition. Mm -hmm. Yes. So talk to me about the major skin conditions that you've seen around. I know there's maybe eczema. Yes. Um, uh, what else would there be? Psoriasis maybe? Yeah. Hyperpigmentation. Mm -hmm. Um uh acne mm -hmm. yes dehydration mm -hmm. all those are skin conditions and those now have internal and external factors exactly okay For so whereas skin, you can't and and with the skin type you can't change your skin type no you can't change your skin type although with, with as we age sometimes you can find or maybe a climate change yes you can find like your skin type is changing mm -hmm. yes uh okay. but it's not uh, something to worry about. Okay. Yes. Okay. There's ways to deal with it. Yes. But for a skin condition, it changes over time or can be affected by uh, climate, uh, allergy, uh, yeah, the food that we eat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, sun exposure. 
Yes, just to name a few. Which are those foods that negatively impact our skin? Uh, some of the food that we eat, you know, like uh, we all react differently. So we can't like just pick this and say like, no, this can't work for everyone. Yeah, because there are people who take milk and they get affected. There are people who take eggs, they start, get, they start getting acne. Mm. There are people who eat meat. Okay. Uh, they start getting uh, acne as well, like pimples all yeah. the way from legs, thighs, maybe all over the body. Okay, yes. so it could be anything for could anybody. could be anything. Got you. Now, let's talk about aging skin, dehydrated skin. Of course, when you're younger, like your skin is just so youthful mm -hmm. and supple and it just looks like it's glowing all the time. Yeah. And then as you get into adulting 101 and there's stress and life <laughs> to deal with, our skin's a lot more dry. Maybe we're not, it just loses that elasticity, mm -hmm. right? So um, talk to me about that. I know we say black don't crack, but still, you know, as we get older, even our skin type yeah. um, is exposed to the elements. Yeah, that's true. So how does one address that? Uh, as we age, skin, I normally tell people, the moment you land in this world, once you land in this, your skincare journey begins there. Mm. Yeah. So as you age, uh, skincare goes with age. You'll find when, when you're in your 20s uh, and 30s, if you're in 30s, you can't use the product of someone who is in their 20s mm. because they won't be as effective. Okay. Yeah. So you really have to uh, always pay a skincare specialist a visit then so that they can be able to take you through and guide you through all this. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it would really depend on the age then. Yeah. It really depends on the age because. If, for instance, you turn 30 and you use the product that you've been using when you're in 20, they will not work for you. Okay. They'll not work for you. The same thing if you're in 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Yeah. Yeah. But where is this fountain of youth? Because we want to, <laughs> we want to remain looking young. So what are your tips then as far as how to still keep your skin looking smooth and glow? You know that natural glow? Yes. And really well moisturized. What would be your like basic tips for, for that? My basic tips is uh, staying consistent to your uh, uh, skincare products. Mm. The th one thing that uh, makes people like lose it, it's being lazy. Mm. You know, you have these awesome, awesome products on your dresser, but you get home, you're tired. There even people who sleep with makeup on. Yeah, which is such a no-no. Imagine, <laughs> like you sleep, how? <laughs> yeah. You know, and you see at night, that is when our skin repairs itself. Okay. And it produces new cells. So it's always so advisable before you go to bed, make sure you do your routine. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I, I'd like you to touch on that routine in just a, in a, a moment here. Mm -hmm. But let's also look at natural remedies. A lot of times people start talking about how they've korogad mayai egg white when I paka kwa uso na toilet paper and kwe ile kamaskia kutoa black the white spots and the black spots um, or avocados yeah. we're hearing a lot about turmeric are those natural remedies effective well uh, yes they are but personally i never advise people to use natural remedies mm. reason being the fact that even the products that we buy in stores you come with them at home you still find it so hard to use how will you measure the ratio of the right. products that are you know the right. natural products yeah so personally i i don't advocate for that okay yes just okay. stick to your <laughs> <laughs> normal skincare product yeah yes and paying your skincare specialist a visit every month every month every month okay. so that they can be able to guide you you know because some of the conditions you won't even realize that you have them mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. well let's talk about then this day-to-day -day routine that mm -hmm. you had begun hinting at what should then, so now that we're not going to be corrugating, I don't know, bananas and avocado in the kitchen to put on our faces, mm -hmm. what then does a good skincare routine look like? You, you start to emphasize that, especially at night, it's very, very important. Yes. So what, what does a good routine for someone who maybe has never, you know, because many of us were born, what were arimis? What were napakwatu iso mafuta? Na wanatoka wanaenda. Alafu wanaenda wanakalia jua. You're being fried there in the sun. So maybe yeah. someone has never even had a skincare routine. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about like the steps or what they should include in it just for a very basic start. For a very basic, you know, Aramis is everywhere. <laughs> and it's a good product, by the way. <laughs> so <laughs> first thing first, make sure you have a sunscreen. 
Okay. As sunscreen from the tender age, everyone should have a sunscreen. Mm. Now this, it will protect you from the UVAs and UVBs. And UV rays are very, very harmful. Okay. Even when you're driving, even when we're sitting like a place like here and then the sun is just hitting through the window, it penetrates. Oh. Yes, and that will damage your skin. So the, the sunscreen, do you put it before lotion, after lotion? How long should you put, how earlier should you put it before you go out? There are two types of sunscreens. There is a physical sunscreen and there's a chemical sunscreen. Oh. So, yes. So, a chemical sunscreen, um, it absorbs the heat and then release, release it. Okay. So, what happens with a chemical uh, sunscreen, you can't just apply and go out. You have yeah. to wait for about 15 to 20 minutes okay. before you go out because if you apply and go out, it won't be as effective. Gotcha. A physical sunscreen sits on your face and this has natural ingredients like zinc and titanium okay yeah how do so we know does it state there if it's chemical or physical sunscreen how does one know which one they're buying yeah but now this is where i tell people uh always make sure be don't just go and pick a product at yeah. least learn about two or three ingredients okay yes so, so the ingredients will determine yeah. whether it's a chemical or a yes. physical one yes got you is the sunscreen, is it supposed to be applied before lotion, after, lo like on bare skin or after you've moisturized? First, we don't apply lotion on our, on our face. Oh. Yes. Okay. Don't you ever apply lotion on our face mm -hmm. because it has this uh, harsh ingredient. Yeah. You see, like our face and our skin from here, they are different. Our yeah. skin from here, it's thicker. Yeah. But our skin on our face is not that thick mm -hmm. so you need something that will make it uh, remain supple yeah 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 so, so what 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 is that product is it a face cream is it an oil now those are moisturizers moisturizers yes, yes. sorry okay so you need a moisturizer yes you need a moisturizer that specifically says for face yes but when i joke was a supermarket when i was on a summer for face hands and body you see nowadays beauty industry is so huge choice it's so huge and let's say if uh, uh, for instance if let's just assume they're like 10,000 or maybe 15,000 companies you know and each company they have each and every new product that is coming out like you sleep you wake up in the morning there's a new product on the shelf mm -hmm. you get yeah so consumers should stay woke yeah yes and understand once you know your skin type for instance you have a normal skin type you really need to know the products that you'd always look out for okay. don't just go to the market and buy a product or just because it's, it's yeah or maybe you because you've seen it online and someone is just marketing it at the end of the day you'll damage your skin all right yeah. so okay it sounds like after you've woken up let's let's do a morning routine then you've woken okay. up in the morning do you cleanse your face in the morning with soap still a mild cleanser or no? Yeah, mild cleanser. You a cleanse, mild cleanser? yeah, mm -hmm. you tone and then you moisturize. Okay. Yes, and then, then you, you do apply sunscreen. sunscreen. Yes. Got you. Alternatively, you can just, because, uh, you know, some sunscreen somehow uh, tends to be ashy, yeah. which turns so many people off. Yeah. Like they just have a sunscreen, but they don't want to use it because of how it uh, looks like the after. Yeah. So what I normally advise people is just, just take a dog or a bit and your moisturizer. And now just mix got you and apply okay. it saves time and it sits well okay yeah so that's something people should be doing every single day every single day whether it's raining whether even it's even toning because a lot of us skip the toning part no toning uh yeah toning is very important although it's uh major major important for the people who have oily skin because okay. it uh closes back the pores. got you yes got you um what about things like facials and these face mas massages how important i mean are those things that we should be investing in as well or if we're very consistent with what you're telling us about um cleansing well first remove your makeup cleanse um tone moisturize sunscreen mm -hmm. is that sufficient or do we now also need to be investing in things like facials and massages at home that is just the the uh, cleanser and toner moisturizer serums those stuff those are just to maintain your skin Mm -hmm. Those are maintenance kit. Okay. So you need to do a monthly facial, day in, day out. The same way we do our hair, the same way we do our nails. You monthly. Know? Monthly. Month in, month out. Because face, facial is like a face workout. 
Okay. You see, you might say uh, my face is not that bad, but when you come to me, I probably identify their fine li lines that are coming up. Got you. Yeah. Uh, probably I will identify these are uh, hyperpigmentation that is coming up. Yeah. So, and then I'll be able to advise you now, we need to get this temporary product to use it for this condition. Got you. Yeah. So it's always so important to do facials. All right. Um, hey, but that one, a lot of people worry because of the, the cost of those facials. Are there any alternatives at home or you, you highly recommend that one visits a skin care specialist? Now, apart now from this uh, kit that we all have at home, it's always important and they're not costly. They're mm. not costly. Okay. Yeah, they're very much affordable. <laughs> <laughs> so sunny. So sunny. Okay. Um, and then again, a lot of us sometimes will usually just Google if we say when we get a pimple, right? And you have maybe an event you're going to in the evening, but there's this pimple that is on your face. Um, many of us have that temptation to pop it, to try and get rid of it. What's the best way to handle, you know, pimples? Now, that is where I'm saying, and I will insist, please always make sure you pay a skincare specialist a visit. Still? Now, for a pimple, it's not good to pop it. Once you pop it, you've transferred that bacteria to the other part. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know that some people look at me like, <laughs> 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 yeah, never pop it. Because once you do that, you're transferring that bacteria to the other part. Okay. And when you do now your monthly facials, your skincare specialist will be able to identify, because there are different types of them. Right. You no, know, like papules, pustules, and closed, open comedones. They will be able to identify. You might be struggling with a closed comedon, which it won't even pop out. Right. You get. Okay. So at the end of the day, you'll be inflamed. All right. Wow. Hey, I think we've learned a lot, Sonny, <laughs> and certainly we've been challenged about the same way you go and see your dentist and yeah. your. <laughs> Your doctor, you also need to give your face, you know, a checkup. And especially the way you've said that um, as much as, you know, we think our skin, you know, see like it, it's, it's tough. Yeah. yeah. But our faces, you know, neck up, very, very sensitive. You and see. And so if we want to have that mm -hmm. youthful glow, we need to be doing the work to maintain it. Yes. So you see for uh, peop like, uh, people who have that kit, the people who will come and tell you like, I scrub my face every day. Yeah, that's not good. Like. Why are you scrubbing your face every single day? Yeah. Why even are you scrubbing your face every week? Yeah. Our skin sheds off after every 28 days. Give me a sec. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> you see this? It's a very soft, fluffy towel. Okay. You can touch it. Yeah. Very soft. Very soft. Mm -hmm. And it's not like the other face towels, the small face yeah. towels, because those ones are a bit rough. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a baby's, think yeah. of it like a baby's blanket. Or yeah. It's super soft. Mm -hmm. It's super soft. So this is what you're supposed to use at home. When you're cleansing, just use it and okay. wash your face with it. It's okay. very soft. It won't even harm you. Okay. Instead of keep on scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing because then you're making your, se your skin sensitive. Yeah. There are people who keep on scrubbing, but if you ask them, the last time they did a body scrub where our skin <laughs> is thicker from this part going downwards, right. they can't but even so remember. <laughs> they can't even remember the last time they did that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always important, like, take care of your face. Right. Even men. Even men. Yes. Yes. <laughs> even uh -huh. men. Uh -huh. And I'm so glad, Joyce, because nowadays, I have a huge number of clients, male clients, like they're embracing skincare. Now, no man was, would you tell them to use this? They'll go, for the <laughs> <laughs> they'll go for this product. Okay. You know, because they won't go and start saying like, oh, I've seen another product online. Nin, 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 uh, and they are very faithful to their so routine. So what do you want to do with the gunia? What do you want to do with There's one thing we left out, which is, What's the best way to remove makeup? There's a lot of debate about that. Once it was, oh, you know, you should use coconut oil, but at the same time you're hearing coconut oil is not great for the facial mm -hmm. skin because it's comedogenic. Yes. Um, uh, is it these wipes, makeup wipes, where those get expensive over time? So what's the best way for one to remove their makeup so that they can start because as we've said you should never ever sleep in makeup yes. so before they go into the steps you've shared with us how does one remove their makeup so oil cleansing is very good so you can use coconut oil to just cleanse off 
the makeup and then you can use the wipes to so get it's safe it's not to apply and sit on your skin like okay. just to oil cleanse okay. to cleanse to remove the makeup it's okay. actually very good okay yes you can just remove with it and then wipes and then after it doesn't stop there now get your cleanser and now cleanse first time second time and third time right yes all right Okay. Well, Sonny, thank you so much for coming through to the show. How about you leave us your details as far as how people can reach you? Maybe they have specific questions they'd like to ask you. How can they find you? You can reach me through 0793, uh, 0793 649 716. Okay. Yes. And I'm on YouTube as well, mm -hmm. Sony Touch TV. All right. uh, on Facebook, Sony Touch. On Instagram, Sony underscore touch underscore wellness center. All right. Yes. Great. Thank you so much for coming on to the show. Thank I've learned a lot. Me. I hope you guys have learned a lot as well. <laughs> and with that said, it is already a few minutes to nine o'clock. So we're going to take a break as we get ready for our second hour coming to you right here. Uh, this is Full Circle with Joyce. Stay tuned. I'll see you shortly. <laughs>